Hello fellow pawns, I'm Droopy Pawn, and this is Droopy Pawn Minecraft 2022, we're on episode 6. Last time we were here, what happened last time? Um, let me check some notes over here. Looks like we started a village, I went and snagged a couple of villagers from a local village, brought them back in my boat. I found a melon at the village while I was there. I went out and visited the broken sea portal that was out in the ocean. Broken portal to the nether. So that'll be a potential place to get some, uh, what's it called? Um, obsidian. Yeah, words are hard. Get some obsidian there. Today, I think I want to make uh, a baby villager, which means I'm going to need at least one bed. Let's see if my sheep grew any more wool yet. But I'd like to get a couple of villagers, because I think the ones that I brought home are kind of stuck in their professions. I don't know if they're even laying in their beds yet. I don't know if they will lay in their beds. They may still be trying to get back to their home. But not a problem. I can make new villagers. I have enough for one more bed. Uh, yep, that's all I can do right now. So there's that. Carrying around a lot of stuff. Let's get rid of that one. Got a look of the sea rod, a lure one rod. Okay. Let's go down here and I guess I need to pick some wheat. So I can make enough bread to make the two villagers I have happy. So that they'll make a little baby villager. Oh, and I need to get this guy inside too. Hey, he found his bed. All right, that's good news. And that guy appears to have found his bed. I saw the, the little flashy thing he did there. Okay, so that's good. I got villagers in a bed. Uh, let's see about getting some wheat. So you need 12 carrots or 12 potatoes, or you can do three bread. And if you give that to a couple of villagers, give each of them the 12 potatoes or 12 carrots or three pieces of bread, then that makes them very lovey and they want to make a baby. Much like the baby that's staying in my house since last night. Pooping on everything. So, I mean, that's what babies do, right? They poop. So I'm going to round up all this wheat that I can get. Make the bread that I can make. I'm gonna, I guess I'm going to need... 27, let's see, three pieces of bread, no, I just need 18. I did not even see you, dude. Trying to come in and ruin my farm. I guess I'll put up a couple more lights down here. The spawning requirements for monsters has changed a little bit on this last version. I don't understand exactly what they are. I think if you have a torch up, then nobody's going to spawn within 
25 blocks of you, I think. I'm not sure exactly how it works, but anyway, let's see. 1, 2, 3, and 1, 2, 3. So that's all I'm going to need for now, because I only have two villagers. But I do have a bed. Let's put a bed there, and might as well put another bed there. Now, if I drop three pieces of bread, I bet somebody will jump out of bed and try to grab it. What about you? For you? Yeah, okay, they both have bread now. So while I'm down here, I'm going to go ahead and make this a little bigger. At least go two blocks deeper so I can put two more beds in. This is not how I usually build my villager house, but it's going to be good enough to get started. I can move the guys around later if I need to. I do have one more bed. I'll go ahead and put that down. Uh, I brought a bell home tonight. I think if they have access to a bell, that's like their gathering point, and that will allow them to change professions or reset their trades. Yeah, I haven't even really looked at what those guys are trading. But I usually start with a Fletcher. Because a Fletcher will trade sticks. Let's see, how do I make a fletching table? Can I get to that yet? Fletching, oh I can. It's some um, four pieces of wood and two flint. Well I have that. Super. That's outstanding. So there's a fletcher table. I can put up this foodie stuff. Um what else? Go ahead and fix this while I'm in here. Might as well make another one. And what else was I doing? Anybody know? Class? Anyone? Bueller? Could plant those trees. Put away some of that cobble. And got a Fletcher table. Oh, the bell. I came for the bell. Which is that. So I think I even have a place for it. And let's, let's see what I can do with the composter. Maybe I can get a villager I can trade potatoes and carrots with. Those are the, the veggies I like to trade. I don't like to trade wheat. I mean, I will. Eventually, I'm going to end up with a crap ton of wheat. But getting started, I think it's more important to have the wheat for the animals. Got a record. When a skeleton kills a creeper, he drops a record. In case you didn't know, that's how you set up a, a record farm. When I'm hunting records, I usually just have a couple of boats out and I'll get a skeleton into one boat, and I'll get a, a creeper into a different boat. And I'll stand on the opposite side and have the skeleton shoot at the creeper. So 
like I can get some more wheat now. It's ready, I might as well pick it, right? Harvest the wheat. Later on, I'll get a fortune pickaxe. And instead of just harvesting the carrots by hand, I'll do it with... I'll use my fortune pickaxe and, and get more, more wheat. More carrots. Oh, I heard spider. Um, okay, whatever. Anybody want to come donate some parts to me? Anybody? Okay, well, let's see if we got a baby baby yet. Come on, baby. There's a baby. And he's wearing whatever kind of clothes those are. So I, I think I will put down... If I put down this Fletcher table, will I get a Fletcher? Are you a Fletcher now? He is a Fletcher, but he does not have the trade I want. He's a Fletcher, still not the trade I want. Right now, he'll trade for arrows and for flint. What I want is arrows and sticks. So I'll keep breaking that and changing it. Maybe I'll eventually get arrows and flint. I mean, arrows and sticks. I think this guy might be stuck. Yeah, I don't know that he's going to change. Okay, he changed. Then what I need to do is get me some wood, turn it into sticks, and I can trade with him, I get arrows. That will also boot his, boost his trading ability so he'll get better and better trades. But I'm going to chop down these trees here. There's no creepers creeping up on me. Nobody wants to be blown up by a creeper. If you know any good tips for villager farming or trading, leave me a comment. I'd like to hear about that. Yeah, or don't. Whatever peels your banana. Why can't we be friends? <clears throat> Hairball. Chopping the trees, gonna turn it into sticks, gonna turn the sticks into emeralds, gonna turn the emeralds into arrows, gonna turn the arrows into dead stuff. So many giant trees. What the carp fish? Uh -huh. 
back in my day, you couldn't jump up and down and chop a log above you. You had to climb up to it. Now you can jump up and down and hit that log. How many logs do I have now? Got almost a stack. Let's turn them all into sticks. I almost jumped off of there. That would have hurt. So you, sir, would you like some sticks? He said, mm-hmm. Achievement made. What a deal. Now he'll trade for bows. I already have a decent bow. But I still need emeralds to trade for arrows. So let's get a few arrows. Alright. And let's see. I got more logs, more planks. Means I can make more arrows. Which means I can make more emeralds. And his trading skill keeps going up every time I trade for some arrows. And now he's he's out of He's no longer interested in sticks or emeralds. But that turned out pretty well. I think I'll add a little more cover here on the front. Oh. Pepper's having baby problems. Pepper got a baby. I got a baby. You get a baby. And you get a baby. Everybody gets a baby. Is it time to start keeping the carrots yet? I can use carrots to get a, a pig farm going. Let's chop this tree. It's kind of in the way. And then I need to pick up the saplings that I left laying here earlier. 7 to 28 what? Oh, well... Cowboys are playing the bears. Guess I'm probably going to get off here soon and go watch some football. Yeah. Yeah. Terraforming just a wee bit. Still mowing the grass just a wee bit. you do it. You start with a big ugly place and, and you make stuff happen. You move a few dirts here, you add a couple of trees there. Before you know it, you have a nice lovely place to live. Let's take this hump down. Some nice blue flowers. Seeds can make more chickens. Let's take those seeds to the chickens and see how they like it. You chickens you want some seeds? 
got more chickens. Give me more XP. I got another row of dirt here. Okay, where are we at? Where are we at? About 20 minutes. So I think that's good. So what happened today? Uh, started a village. No, I already had a village started. I I made the villager house bigger. Um, well, I was gonna travel to the east and see what's over there. I didn't get around to that. So so maybe that'll be for next time. But until then, I think I'm gonna call this an episode. Thanks for watching, and I'm gonna check out. Drippy Pawn out. See you next time.